All right, buddy, I just did a 1.8 mile hike up on the Hermit Gulch Trail, starting from the city of Avalon. The trail is pretty steep, so when you come up here, make sure you bring a towel for the sweat, water, and a hat because there's no shade at all here. Uh, but a great, really good day hike you can do. Also note, if you are gonna do the trans Catalina Trail, um, you can actually start from the Avalon and do the Hermit Gulch Trail and connect to the tr trans Catalina Trail here, which connects, um, I believe this trail's over like 20 miles, which I'm not doing today. Hermit Gulch Trail is a 3.4 mile steep incline trail located on the island of Catalina. If you are planning a trip to the island and interested in doing a day hike, consider adding this hike to your next adventure. The trail offers some amazing views and at the top you are awarded with 360 views of the island. This is Mike on the Move, Catalina Island. Due to the close proximity to Los Angeles and the California mainland coast, this island makes for a quick getaway destination. The island is known for the island's only incorporated city, the city of Avalon, for its food, beaches, and relaxation. Another reason it's, is hiking. When it comes to hiking, Catalina cannot be beat. Start by taking a quick one hour ferry ride to Avalon. Now, I recommend taking the Catalina Express, which has multiple different stations throughout Southern California as an option. It's a one hour again ferry ride over to Avalon and the cost is about $75 per person round trip. Now, I spent the night at the Holiday Inn where I researched which hike to complete. I wanted to do a hike that would take no more than four hours and that would give me the taste of Catalina, especially the views. This is why it chose to do the Hermit Gulch Trail. Now the morning of, which is here, is October. It's a crisp morning in the fall and the fog was just rolling in. And knowing that we are in California, October can still be pretty warm. That's why I recommend that you all should start your day early. This is 6 a.m. Here's a map of the Hermit Gulch Trail, in total seven miles from the city of Avalon. As you make your way over to the trailhead, you will pass the Hermit Gulch Trail campsite, which is to your right side as you walk to the trailhead. Now, another option for your consideration is to include the Garden to the Sky Trail as part of your adventure checking out the Hermit Gulch Trail. It's uh, a trail that goes through the Botanic Garden, and for eight bucks, you can add this to your adventure. However, dogs are not allowed. So in this case, Taylor is not allowed into the garden. And for that reason, we're gonna, wake, we're gonna make our way back down and start at the official trailhead. So the official start of this hike is actually on the Hermit Gulch campground. So for those of you who are staying tonight on the campground, you're ready to go. Also note that a day permit is required. You are required to obtain a day permit from the Conservancy because you are hiking on the Conservancy property on the island. We officially start the hike with some rocky steps. And so here we go. This is a start to a great hike. The views are breathtaking as you make your way up. Now note that there is very little shade throughout the hike, mostly sun, and it is October, so it gets warm pretty fast. So for that reason, I highly recommend you do not forget the following. A hat, your glasses, and a towel for the sweat. You will need it. Luckily, I brought my drone. Let's get a bird's eye view of what the island has to offer. This was a beautiful October fall morning. Looking below, you can see the path we've taken so far, wrapping around the, the canyon sides. And then even further down, you can see the start of our hike, which is the campsite. Now this hike in total is 3.4 miles round trip with an elevation of 1,500 feet above sea level at the top. And there we are, just making our way through this hike.
This hike is a definite workout. If you need a challenge, you got one here. Note my heavy breathing. But overall, I think this uh, steady incline trail hike is well maintained. And of course, the views around you just motivate the heck out of you as you make your way to the top. So after about one hour, we officially made it to the top. Here I am taking my final steps to the top, what they call here the lookout. This gazebo in front of us is the lookout, which will offer us seating and shade as we rest up to make our way back down on this trail. Also, it's important to note that bison roam throughout the entire island, especially the trails. So be careful of them. But also because we live in California, be conscientious of rattlesnakes, ticks, poison oak, rough terrain, fire danger, and tsunamis. Let me share with you all this spectacular view I was able to obtain from the top. Well, there you have it, folks. I made it down safely on this hike, back down to the Hermit Gold Campground, where we started. If you have any comments or suggestions, please share them on this video. And I ask all of you not only to like my video, but to subscribe to Mike on the Move, so I can keep you posted on my latest videos and adventures. I hope you're doing all well. Stay healthy and safe. Talk to you all soon.